Redefining Customer Service, a training provided by the Rhode Island Community Food Bank for CSFP local distribution agencies, staff, and volunteers. The training goals are to equip staff and volunteers with the know-how to provide direct services in the spirit of hospitality and to implement the knowledge learned through this training into your organization. Defining hospitality. What does hospitality mean to you? How does it work with customer service? And why does it matter in your work? I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Maya Angelou. This quote is especially important for the population of people that we serve through CSFP, which are seniors. Culture of care. Think about the words culture of care. What do they mean to you? Imagine an environment where a culture of care is prominent. Using the serve model helps to bring those words to life. Serve, S stands for sincere being genuine and authentic. E stands for empathetic, demonstrating compassion for other people's thoughts and feelings, even if you don't agree with them. R, respectful, show respect by valuing others through your actions. V, visible, it should be seen through your actions, your gestures, and your words. E, engaging, everyone, every time. Treat everyone with equal service while also making an effort to get to know them individually. All of these combined create a culture of care within an organization.
Okay, so with a culture of care, we also want to make sure that we're communicating with care. Hospitality is more than simply doing what is required. It's much more than just a job description. It's about making people feel welcomed, secure, and comfortable. It's about seeing people as their own individual selves with their own special stories, experiences, and needs. Why is it important to see people as individuals and not as a group? Think about a personal story that a CSFP participant has shared with you recently. Why did that story resonate with you? What about it struck you as something memorable? Here are four basic principles of good customer service, starting with the greeting. The greeting sets the tone for the rest of the visit, meeting, or interaction. Smile and greet people using their name. If you don't know the person, make sure to introduce yourself. Anticipate needs. Do you see someone who uses a cane and needs an extra hand, or can use a translator or something else? Do the best you can to anticipate your participants' needs and then accommodate those needs as best as you can. Be present. Put on your listening ears and make sure your body language, responses, and actions all match up to illustrate that you are genuinely listening. And lastly, focus on what you can do as opposed to what you can't do. The more you understand your participants' perspective and thoughts about their experience with you and your organization, the better you can serve them. After all, we all like to be asked how the service was after we visit a restaurant, a hotel, a hair salon, or even a retail shopping visit. So why shouldn't we be asking the same from our participants? Even though the service we provide them through CSFP has no cost, we should still treat participants as if they were valued customers. We're here for them. Here are three suggestions to help you make sure that you are serving your guests well. Ask in real time. The next time you interact with a participant or during a box distribution, take a second to ask them how they think things are going. Be sure to note any issues and follow up as needed. Provide a comment box. Some participants may feel uncomfortable telling you directly or fear that they will be blacklisted if they're seen as complaining. So having a comment box allows people to share their thoughts and concerns in a more discreet way. Participants should have the option to ensure their comments are anonymous, but should also be encouraged to share their name and contact number for you to follow up with them directly. And lastly, conduct a survey. Once a year or as needed, ask participants to fill out a simple survey about your program including what they like about it and how it can be improved from their point of view. If you need help creating a survey for your organization, please contact the Food Bank for support.
Thank you for listening. Hopefully this short training has helped to equip you in building your customer service skills.